Alright guys, it's going to be a new video here. This is going to be uh, how to install uh, Paranoid Android version 1.6 on the Droid X2. Uh, just got released on the uh, 731 of 2012 and we're going to go ahead and just show you a couple things on it. This is not the ROM yet. First thing you want to do is you want to come down here and go to settings and go to about the phone that you have right now exactly how you have it and make sure that you are on Android version 2.3.4 right here okay you want to make sure that's the version you're on uh, to, to uh, install this and if you're not then uh, you want to get there by SBFing or uh, yeah SBFing or whatever you got to do to to do that. I actually installed a, an Android I made on that operating system, so we were good to go there. Um, so once you go there, you're gonna go down to your app drawer and you're gonna boot into System Recovery, which is Bootstrap Recovery, and will boot you into Clockwork Mod. So you have to go ahead and make sure you have your files installed, the ROM and the uh, G apps and then we're going to go into system we're going to plug it in and we're going to reboot and get into clockwork mod recovery so once we get there we will be able to flash this and I'll show you how to install it it's pretty simple as soon as we boot up here we'll show you All right, so we're in um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through the step-by-step -step directions. And first thing you wanna do is come down here to Wipe Data Factory Reset, and your volume keys are your scrolling, and then your power button is your select. So we're gonna hit Wipe Data Factory Reset, and then we're gonna scroll down to where it says Yes, Delete All User Data, and we're gonna hit that. So this is going to delete all of our user data off of this. Um, basically all your passwords, everything, your apps, everything that's on there, it's going to delete it all. Alright, so that's done. And we're going to go down here to uh, wipe cache partition. And we're going to select that. And then go down to yes, wipe. And we're going to do that. Alright. Uh, last thing you want to do is you want to scroll down to advanced. Select it. And then wipe Delvic cache and select it and then select yes and select that alright so now that you've done all of those steps you want to go back we'll go back alright and then we want to go down here to where it says install zip from SD card and select that now you're looking for the zip that you um, the ROM zip that you've uh, put on your SD card so choose zip from SD card now, I put mine under CM9 because this is basically the Paranoid Droid is actually basically an ice cream sandwich thing, so this is where I, just, I select, I put it. So, uh, let's see here, scroll down. What am I looking for here? Oh, right at the top, sorry. Yeah, Paranoid Android 1.6. So, we're going to select that. Now, we're going to go down to install and hit yes. Alright, so it's going to install this. Once this is done installing, we have to install the um, hybrid G apps. Um, and then we'll have one more step after that. So let's let this install and we'll go to the next thing. Alright guys, the uh, ROM has finished installing. So then we're going to do flash the gap. So we're going to say choose zip from SD card again. I'm going to scroll down to where I put the uh, gaps. And then I'm looking for... Uh, Gaps Ice Cream Sandwich Fixed Zip. That is what it's called. So I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to say yes to install. Alright, so this shouldn't take too long. Once, once this is done installing, the last thing we have to do, which is very important, is go into Advanced Settings and Fix Permissions. So let's let this finish up, and then we'll go to that step. Should be done in just a sec here. Alright, there we go. So we want to go back 
select back all right so we want to go down to advanced select it and then we want to go down here to fix permissions and select it all right it says fixing permissions done all right so we can go back again and then it says to reboot so we'll go ahead and reboot and we're gonna see what we get here this is uh, like I said this is a paranoid Android uh, V version 1.6 first time I booted it up so it's gonna be interesting to see what we got here um, that was the install and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of a uh, kind of what what's in there what's in you know what the features are of this ROM it's basically based off of CM9 by Dragon Killer, um, but just using uh, Paranoid Android, it's ported. So it should have all the features that CM9 has currently, um, and then just the stuff that comes with, uh, see it's actually even got the CM9 boot animation here. Um, and then it'll just have the stuff that comes with uh, Paranoid Android ROM in there too, so that's we're going to kind of go through some of the features on it. So this boot up might take a little while. It's got to write um, cache and delve cache. And when it boots up here, we'll go through that. Thanks. And uh, let's just go through some things. You got some nice transitions there. You know, you got your uh, your camera, which yeah is working. So that's good. Just like CM CM9 there. So you got those features. You got your app drawer. Um, Oops, there you go. App drawer. You know, your standard stuff. I'll see what comes pre installed on this. You, know, you got your super user, your ROM manager, um, some different, uh, you know, your D DSP manager, basically your standard like CM, CM9 stuff on here. Uh, nothing, nothing too terribly exciting. No bloat though, at least. No blur stuff. Um, so. As you can see, we kind of have like almost like a tablet look here on the bottom. Uh, you got notifications that come up like that. You don't have like a you know pull down toggle or pull down notification bar on the top. And then you also have, which is kind of neat, you have these little buttons here, just like you would on a tablet or something. Um, so you can see your different stuff that you've uh, looked at. You can clear them out, or you can uh, you know if you're in let's say internet. Alright, well, you can hit those little buttons to go back to home. Also, there you go. So, you still have your hard buttons on here. They still all work too. But you also, if you want, you can put those buttons down there at the bottom. Or you can even remove them. So, the cool thing about this that I've seen so far is major customization under settings. A lot of stuff you can do. Let me just show you one of the cool things I found when I was playing with this. I just thought it was freaking cool. There you go. I don't know what this is, dude. It's like your apps are shooting. It's almost like a space star blast app drawer or something. But if you hit the screen, they slow down. Then you can actually select one, I think. Let's see. Well, maybe you can't. Well, I can get them to highlight. I thought maybe we could pick one. I just think it's cool looking. I don't really know what the point of it is. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. There you go. I can go to gallery. So, um, I just thought that was really pretty cool. Uh, so you got your normal app drawer, you know, down here. But you also got this one, this like flying space one. <laughs> it is awesome. Slow way down. Let's see if I can select one again. Here, calculator. There you go, calculator, yeah. So, this is really cool. Um, also, you have these little three dots up there. That goes to your... Um, your launcher preferences, so you got you know your home screens, icons. This is Trebuchet launcher is what they got on here. Um, and then let's see what else I can show you guys. A little bit of redraw you can see. <clears throat> so let's go into settings, and there is a ton you can do in settings. Again, the interface really looks like um, really looks like a tablet. It's a little bit small, so it's a little bit harder to read, in my opinion, but it's pretty cool looking still it has a very much interface like a tablet uh, so let's see what let's see what else we can show you guys you got your lock screen settings you know backgrounds information weather if you want you know all kinds of different things there um, themes there's only one in here so it does have themes if you want to put themes on it um, let's go to system 
So system right here under notification drawer. I'm sorry, that's not what I wanted. I want a notification bar. This is where you can add or remove those three little buttons down here at the bottom. See they just disappeared? Or you can put the buttons back on there. So that's where you can do that. Um, you got wallpaper, uh, status bar. Uh, let's see what we can do in here. You got your clock information, hardware acceleration enable if you want for status bar, number of notification icons, um, battery style. Let's see what we like for battery style. I really like percentage. I want to know. So 100% while well, I'm charging it right now. So. Um, so as you got some different cool settings there, um, then we have paranoid settings right here. So let's see what this has. Um, status bar style. So here you can pick it as a tablet style or as a phone style. So I think it's under tablet right now. Let's see what it does if you go phone style on this thing. So we have to allow super user because it's asking to change something. All right. Now let's see what happens if I do that. Alright. Well, I still have it there, but it says... Oops, sorry guys. Let's go back into settings and see what... See what it says here. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is really. It's doing it again. Oh, there we go. So you can have all these. Or you can have the other way. All these uh, icons on here, all your little to toggles and brightness and everything. So, which is pretty cool. So, like I said, I mean, there's just framework stuff, um, list of apps and values. You have an advanced settings here for some stuff. I don't even know what this is. Nexus S settings. Um, touch keys. I mean, this thing is loaded, you know, your basic performance stuff, which you've probably seen before on CM9. Yeah, your processor, memory, all that good stuff. Just loaded with all kinds of custom customizations and, and you can do some real neat stuff with it. But definitely my favorite thing so far is this thing. I, I just think it's cool. <laughs> it just looks awesome. Let's see if I can get another one to stop here. So slow it down. See another one come up here. Uh, light bulb. Did it. Oh, clockwork bot maybe. Come on. Well, he's got to work. There it goes. Super user, it works. It's just weird. Um, oh, yeah, I even got that one, too. Here's my email. Get out of that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, cool. Very, very neat. Very neat little ROM. does definitely have some redraws, but uh, just tons of cool stuff you can play with and tinker and make this thing look really cool. So, definitely, guys, check this thing out. Like I say, this is how to install a little review of uh, Paranoid Android version 1.6. Thanks guys.